If you want to think about what the, the frustrations are for your customers, think first of all of how you would get frustrated in a given situation with one of your suppliers. Like you might want to think about getting your washing machine repaired, or getting your accounts done, or you know, what's it like going to the dentist? Think about the frustrations you feel. What sort of things you feel trying to book a washing machine repair man? Michael? Is he going to turn up? Is he going to turn up? Anything else? What else would we come on? I can do rewards for this. I'm going to get ripped off. <laughs> are you? Yeah. Are you going to get going to get ripped off? Is it going to cost you an arm and a leg? Yeah. What else? Is it going to? Yeah. Is it going to be able to come at a convenient time? Will he fix it? Who said will he fix it? <laughs> hang on, hang on. There's a double act now. Oh, yay! <laughs> I never thought you were that posh, Richard. <laughs> hang on, hang on, Michael. Hold on. How many cups of tea he's going to ask for? Yeah, absolutely. Will he, will he bring free sweets? I'll think about that. But you see, we, we, when we have that sort of scenario, we can think about all these key frustrations from a customer's perspective. Just turn it around and think about what are the frustrations that your customers have working with you. Or alternatively, what are the things that they really, really like about you that are going to make a difference?